For the preparation and standardization of 0.05 molar EDTA solution, we will need the following reagents. Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, disodium salt, dihydrate, calcium carbonate, potassium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, and calcium carboxylic acid indicator. We begin by drying the EDTA at 105 degrees Celsius for at least an hour. The powder is then cooled to room temperature in a desiccator to prevent absorbing moisture from the air. On an analytical balance, we weight 37.22 grams of the EDTA plus or minus 0.0005. The powder is then transferred to an one-liter beaker. The crystallizing dish is washed twice, and the volume in the beaker is brought up to 800 to 900 milliliters with distilled water. With stirring and some patience, we soon obtain a clear solution. It is then transferred to a two-liter volumetric flask with rinsing the beaker and the funnel with distilled water. The solution is diluted with more water. For determination of the exact concentration of the solution, we weigh 0.5004 grams of dried calcium carbonate. It is important to be as precise as possible, allowing not more than 0.0001 grams of deviation. The calcium carbonate is then transferred to a 100 milliliters volumetric flask with rinsing the crystallizing dish with water. Then roughly 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid are poured into it and added to the flask. Immediately, you can see bubbling caused by the release of carbon dioxide. After the reaction stops, the solution is topped with distilled water. 25 milliliters of the calcium solution are transferred into a conical flask and diluted with water. To this, we add 10 milliliters of 20% potassium hydroxide to adjust the pH, followed by calcon carboxylic acid indicator. The solution should turn bright pinkish purple. It is then titrated with the newly prepared EDTA solution until the last color change to blue color, indicating the end point. In my case, this took 25.25 milliliters. To calculate the final concentration of the EDTA solution, we use the following formula. In the numerator, we have the molar concentration of the calcium solution times the volume of calcium solution used. In the denominator, we have the volume of EDTA solution used in the determination. When we replace the terms with the actual values, we get the result for the molar concentration of the EDTA solution. And with this, we have successfully prepared and standardized our solution.